Hi everybody, welcome to the OAG RC. Um, today we're going to be doing the view from the replay booth for Mark Bryan's Summer Slam and we are looking today at the buggies. Now this one here has been out and uh, already had its session, you can see it's now covered in dust and grime from its run. Um, the holiday buggy went really well so let's give you some uh, of the the races that we did now and uh, we'll go through some of the key highlights and what went on i'll try and break them down for you and then we'll come and have a little chat afterwards about how the buggies went two one go oh it's a good start oh someone's hit the cone there's a bit of shenanigans going on here oh where's Craig going Dom's coming through, nice one mate, hold it together now. Whoa, he's getting through the cones, nice one, it's getting close here, and he's the winner. Both Dom and I got off the line cleanly, but wait a minute, what's this? Bit of early contact, a bit of argy-bargy. Dom goes for an early trick, two wheels, nicely done. We have a clean little section, I'm out in front, but wait a minute, I just decide I've got to go around that red cone a nip in try and get around it let Dom back in wait a minute did he cut through the inside no nah, we didn't see that did we and then I get it completely wrong coming in for the corner didn't see that bump never taken that line before I get the car very unsettled and just look at how composed the hot shot is through the corners here as Dom strides out into the lead taking these corners beautifully and there's no way back for the holiday buggy. The hot shot takes the win. Well done, Dom. Three, two, one, go! Crikey, they're fast. Oh, where the hell am I going? Whoa! <laughs> the Avant is across the line first, that's Rob. Great start from both of these four-wheel drive buggies off the line. Mark goes for the inside line. Rob realises what he's doing and he follows him through that first gate. Mark then realises he's done the same thing I've done. He's going to miss that red cone so he nips inside. Rob doesn't follow him. Rob then gets bogged down in the top section of sand and Mark comes back through to take the uh, the white corner. And then it all kicks off as we enter into the sand bunker with a little bit of fisticuffs. Rob fared better, coming off with a better line. Mark has to make a big adjustment to get back around the yellow cone. But hang on a second. Rob's taking a big wide line in. Mark realises he's made the same mistake. Both of them try and cut in. Mark's got it all wrong though. He's, he's in too deep in that bunker. Both of them in danger of getting bogged down. But Rob's not having any of it. He just flips Mark the wrong way and jumps up out to take the win. Three, two, one, go. Come on, I can't see, you can't make out who's winning. Oh, it's Mark winning just about. Oh, roll from the uh, DTO2. No. Oh no, he's got bugged. <laughs> no, I actually had Mark off the line look, got an early start on him, but came back far too quick. And then I took far too big a line. I just realized I got it all right, I'm too excited. It didn't turn in quick enough. And then I realized I had to go back around the red cone again. So I took a big line correction again at the top section. Trying to get around that red cone, leaving me a lot to do. It looks like it's all over, but then Mark goes in quite heavy into this middle trap again. Gets a little bit bogged down in the sand, gets the wrong line, but I take the inside line, clipping the white cone. And I think, you know what, I'm going to get that yellow one as well, get right inside. I get it all wrong, and we flip it over. I've got it all to do now. Mark's taking that wide line to come back around the yellow cone. I just think if I can get on the inside, I'll get him. But I cut it too deep. 
and then I just beached himself in the bunker. The holiday buggy doesn't like you, the deep sand. Mark takes the win. Over there, trying to keep your broken shot. Go on, Dom, keep going. Oh my gosh. Whoa. Oh, we've had a big off. Oh. Come on, Dom, keep going. No. Oh, the event is beached. Is it beached? Yeah. Just got to get across the line. Uh, Dom gets a great start on that silver can. Uh, but the Avanti comes back very quickly and then Dom tries to do a sort of shimmy shake which keeps getting gradually worse as he starts to lose control. He backs off the throttle and gains composure again. Just as Rob decides to pull a few more tricks in his Avanti, a nice little barrel roll there, giving Dom plenty of time to get that, that hot shot back out in front again. And then not content with one trick, Rob pulls another little trick then gets the back end round and he gets it all wrong. He's facing the wrong direction. He's got to loop it round. And Dom cuts down the inside in the hot shot to come into the lead. And then the fun starts. Both buggies coming over the crest. Dom's not having any of it. He just punches through, turns the Avanti around the wrong way and deep into the sand where unfortunately it beaches itself for the rest of the run. And all Dom's got to do is keep it cool get that hot shot home for the win and four points for the leader table well done Dom good running so there we go you've uh, seen the video footage this thing dead last in the uh, in the race in the head-to-head -head races what went wrong for me well mainly uh, my driving um, I got a bit overexcited really I kind of forgot my lines when I was racing the buggies uh, which is a bit of a shame really because I'd done so well up until um, that point. You'll see in some of the other videos that we do, it, this little thing is actually pretty good. Um, but I lost my call and I got bogged down in the sand on that last one against Mark. And I couldn't believe I did that. I tried to take it too too tight. And you see as it went in, it just sort of hit the sand and it kicked it all up. Um, Mark's TTO2B went well, given that it had that low ground clearance, but it... It wasn't a match for that uh, Super Avanti in that first race. I mean, that thing that Rob had was just electric. I think both the guys were running brushless motors. I can't remember which ones they were running. Um, but I think Mark's had a 13 and a half turn. And I can't remember what Rob's had in, but that was pretty quick as well. I and mean, they both were really rapid. And, you know, what surprised me really, and, and the highlight drive of the day has got to go to Dom for that hot shot. I was running a silver can with nickel metal high drive batteries. I mean, we all run NIMS, so there's no advantage there per se. But, I mean, that silver can. I mean, it was just smooth. The hot shot's predictable. Um, and Dom drove really, really well. And he deserved that win. He deserved that win. But what was interesting is that final race against the Super Avanti, where both of them came into that sort of first big sand bunker after turning around the top turn. And the two... Cars got caught up, and that big old heavy hot shot just ploughed into that Super Avanti and just basically run it over. Um, good laughs, good times. We had a, an absolute blast with the buggies. And I think what we've all learned from that is it really doesn't matter what you drive in, as long as you're going to have a bit of fun, you're up for it. It's a laugh, and we had an absolute ball. Um, and We've got some four-way races coming up um, soon as well. And the videos for those are just as entertaining and even more carnage. So with that said, without giving too much away, thanks ever so much for watching um, the view from the replay booth. I hope you've enjoyed it. And um, look out for more of these videos as we carry on going through our series. Until then, thanks for watching. And whatever you do, have some good old-fashioned fun. See you later. Bye.